Hey guys, this is a very first coding lecture on the PHP programming. So here, this lecture, I am starting with a lot of enthusiasm, love and confidence. Hope you will enjoy that. Here in this lecture, we are talking about a very first program which is a hello world program. As in any programming language, we start by writing our first program which is the hello world program. If you are working with PHP, if you are working with any other programming language, PHP scripts are mostly run and display in the browser, as you know. But you can also run these types of scripts in the command line as well. So running these scripts on the command line, you have to use your text editor as well, where you can use Sublime Text, LeafPad, etc whatever the available other text uh, editors as well. So creating your first GUI applications, here I am using Dreamweaver and I am using brackets as well. If you are working as a basic or if you want to learn more about the PHP or if you are a beginner programmer, so I recommend you to use bracket. But we have the Dreamweaver as a standard version and the developer version as well. So if you have to choose Dreamweaver as well as a developer or the standard version. But at this stage, I recommend you to use a standard version. Here, if you want to create or if you want to add a new file to your local host file, so you just simply create your files here or if you want to open, so simply you have to create the open. Here you can see that I am just working with a, a new project which is a PHP and this is my first coding lecture which is a hello world application. So you can see here I am just creating a new file right here. So new file here I just write that this is hello and word.html. Remember that don't give a space between two tags. Like here you can see that I just write hello and then I just give it a space and then word. So my personal recommended recommendation is to don't give this space between the words. Okay, here you can see that. So this is uh, not a PHP file. So I just delete this file here or I just rename this file with the name of PHP you can see here. And here you can see edit and then rename. So here I just write hello word. And this is PHP file. Okay, so I just remove this. So here you can see that. So when I just uh, go to the XAMPP folder and I just run this XAMPP right here, so you can see here my XAMPP is open right now, and I just click on start and start as well. So here you can see that my Apache and my SQL is running right now. Okay, here you can see that. I just go to the htdocs folder and inside this htdocs I just create this php course folder right here. So I just enter into that. So you can see here with the help of that I just create a hello world file right here. So my hello world file is shown to me inside this php course folder right here. Okay. When I just back click on that and I just check this in a open browser so you can see here you can click on that and you can see here. You have to open this into the Google Chrome right here. So you will find that you can see here this is a localhost 8080 PHP course and hello world. You can see here there is a no window right here instead of United Dog, uh, United Dog here. Okay, here you can see here this is just a title right here, which is shown to us like this. Okay, here you can see. So I uh, don't confuse it right here because our local host address is let's suppose localhost so you can uh, you have to write your slash right here and then you have to write your folder name and then the file name right here and the extension which is php or html so if you are working with the xamp so here you can see that this is the 8080 port so i just set this local uh, this xamp on the 8080 port so you have to simply config this and then go to php ini and you have to change your port as well but if you are installing first time as a xamp so just leave it Okay, here you can see that I just go to my this text editor right here or the compiler here 
and I just I am just running a first program which is a hello world program right here. So the beginning of the PHP is PHP code is starting from the open tag here is you have to write lesson sign, then you have to write the question mark sign here, then you have to write PHP. Okay, after this writing this PHP, you have to write echo statement. And inside this echo statement, you have to write your program. Let's suppose I am just writing the output, which is hello world. Then you have to write this semicolon sign, then question mark and greater than sign. So your this PHP strings is shown to me now at the browser. So I just save this file. Okay. So I just save it right here. Yes. Then go to this browser and then fresh this browser so you can see here. This is the hello world as the output right here. Now just come back to that and here you will see. So firstly, I have to write this beginning of the open tag right here, which is the PHP. Then echo is a PHP language construct for sending the text string. We can see here this is our text string, which is the hello world, which is you have to send your variable with the help of that echo statement and you have to send your HTML snaps as well. After that, you, you can see that I'm just writing this semicolon right here. So this is statement in PHP ends with a semicolon, which is an echo statement or any statement you have to end with a semicolon. Then after that, you have to close your this statement right here. If you are working with the XAMPP and if you are running the XAMPP file right here, so you have to add your extension name with a PHP as well. Hope so you understand now. Now here you can see that after that, here I am just opening this file with the brackets. Okay. Bracket is also works same like our Dreamweaver, but it have the less features than the Dreamweaver. Here you can see that same code. If you want to run one another statement like hello world, hello world, you can see here I just save this code right here. When I just refresh, so you can see here, this is the hello world files right here, which is the hello world, then hello world, and this is also a hello world, but I write three times right here. Hope so you understand now that both the editors are same right here. This is the one way you have to write your echo statement inside this PHP. This is one another thing you have to write your echo statement, then you have to write double quotations mark. So here it's write hello world as well. So you have to write your statement like this and at the last you have to write the semicolon as well. So this is one another way you have to write your equal statement as well with a double quotations mark. So you can see here when I just run this. So this is the hello world as what I just write in a equal statement as well. You can simply provide the text size of that too. So here I just write h1 tag which is my PHP tag file. So here you can see that I just write this is the h1 tag right here. Okay. And here, let's suppose I just write this is the h1 tag and I just close this tag right here. And here too. Okay. So you can see here when I just run this code right here. So this is my h1 files you can see here. Hope so you understand now that how this hello world programs work in a PHP programming language. If you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture, please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture.